My name's Kami Kriskamara, and this is about my beautiful mum, Irene Kamara. She was a fabulous mum. She was everything to me. There's me as a baby. That's a face only a mother could love. <laughs> I grew up in Middlesbrough. We were the first black family on that estate, so life was difficult, very difficult. I can always remember kicking a ball around in the playground, knowing that I wanted to be a footballer. Borough boys came to see my head teacher and said we'd like to have him at Middlesbrough boys. I told my dad and he wouldn't have it, not in any way, shape or form. He marched me down to the recruiting office and made me sign on the Navy. I got drafted into the Naval football team and my big break was we played against Portsmouth and I scored a couple of goals and they offered to buy me out. So Portsmouth paid 200 pounds to the Navy. Uh, it still goes down as the worst deal in the club's history. <laughs> when I left the Navy, I had to ask mum to speak to my dad to calm him down. She always protected me. All my mum ever wanted was for me to be happy. I was working for Sky. Oh, I'd spoken to my mum and we knew she was close um, to not being with us anymore. And uh, I said, don't worry, after the show on Sunday, um, I'll be home. Anyway, the producer went, oh, do me a favor would you go to QPR on the bank holiday Monday? I said, oh, I've got to go to Borough. He went, no, oh, no, don't worry about it then. And I went, no, no, it's fine. So I phoned mum and she went, oh dear. And I went, what do you mean, oh dear? And she went, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. And I went home that uh, night after the QPR game and seven o'clock the next morning I got the call. She gone. I wasn't there. I beat myself up so much. I wouldn't want anyone to feel like I do, you know. So it's good to talk, it's good to tell other people. I'm just beginning to find that out. The problem shared is a problem cared. I now believe that's so important.